It's lovely to see you, and sadly, we were hoping to see you with Paul, but he's not very well today. He's, he's always ill. Know. Is he all <laughs> well, sorry, he's always says he's ill. Oh, oh, okay. We'll never know. We'll Do you think he'll be know. watching? Do you got a message for him at home? No, he won't be watching. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? No, no reflection on you. <laughs> it's the presence of me. Oh, right. oh. <laughs> well, it's lovely to see you. Thanks for having me. And, and it's lovely to see you looking well, because that whole series started out because both you and Paul had, had heart, really serious heart problems. Yeah. Um, and he needed to get you out of the house, you said. Yeah, on reflection, no, it was so kind of him. He's been such a good friend, because mm. when you've had um, heart surgery, you can kind of go one of two ways. You can just sit on your sofa and watch the telly, which is would be my instinct, mm. to be honest. Mm. Or you can get back out and get, you know, start your life up again. And Paul was, he was on at me every single day. Mm. Come out, come out. And eventually I gave, I gave in and I've discovered this whole new world, you know? Were you a bit like that before the heart surgery though? Cause it's, my husband doesn't like going out and he, you know, <laughs> do you know, it's like, <laughs> I think men, as they get older, they kind of their world shrinks. Yeah, you do. It's, you do isolate yourself a bit. You know, you're just. Uh, come, it's, it's. It's been the real joy of the fishing has been for me. Is like I, it, I, I like remember friendship as a young person when it was just you just went some way yeah. and hours yeah, with yeah. each other, and then you drift through a through a time where you're just really saying hello or just mm. keeping in touch <laughs> really, and it's not really a friendship anymore. Mm. And I, I kind of thought I'd left friendship behind in my life. And then I went fishing with Paul yeah. and suddenly mm. there's two fellas spending yeah. 10 hours more, probably 40 I mean, you hours had, a day. You were saying, you know, heart surgery, you had a triple bypass operation. I mean, really, it was serious. I mean, you, by the time you saw the doctor, he was like, we need to get you sorted. Like, yeah, it was all, yeah, it was all very quick. It's the, that's, the, um, that's the sad thing about heart diseases, is that um, it gives you no warning whatsoever. So that's why you tend to see people just mm. drop in. There's not, I, was, I felt as fit as a fiddle. And you and don't then, have it in your family? So not that I'm aware of, oh. no, but... Um, how did you find out? If you felt as fit as a fiddle, how did you find out then? About because I was, I was just about to go on tour uh, with Vic, and so um, I went to see the doctor, because I had, like, a pain in my chest, but, you know, like, your mum might say you've got a cold oh, in your chest. Oh, you have a stitch, yeah. Yeah, that sort of thing, and... Um, Six days later, I was being operated. Because he actually said, if you hadn't have gone to see him, you probably would have dropped dead on. He the did tour. for fun. He looked at the schedule and he said, you would have dropped at Southampton. He oh, reckoned that. <laughs> but you, <laughs> but, but, but it changed your life in so many different ways. But yeah. one of the things it did make you do was get married to your long-term partner, Lisa. Yeah, because yeah, because. <laughs> 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 Which was another great thing. What a lovely day that was. Because yeah. um, I was, I think it was the, it was the Tuesday um, was my operation and I had to apply for a special licence mm. to um, be allowed to get married quickly. So my surgeon gave me a letter to give to the registrar which he said, don't open that. I don't want you ever to see. And I have never oh, seen that letter. Oh, wow. To sort of, to lay it on quite thick that... Um, uh, so what, what, let me just ask you, because 25 years together, kids <coughs> obviously, <laughs> What went through your mind? It wasn't, I'm assuming, just like, oh, I've got to do this in case I die and I need to make sure she's... Pre what was it that went through your mind? Did everything else just... No, you get, like, you, you get the news and you go home and your, your world just, like, just shrinks mm. to those things that matter to you. I always yeah. say, like, I suddenly I thought, that, that's the egg cup I've used for 15 years. I thought, oh, boy, I'm going to miss that egg oh. cup. <laughs> Oh, the, you know, the silliest things, and of course, the biggest thing of all is my, wa is yeah. my wife now. Yeah, yeah. Just sort of realising. Yeah. Do you know all the, the, the thousands and thousands of kindnesses that your partner does for you over the years? Suddenly, you're forced to... to yeah, you think yeah, about that. Sure. <laughs> and you appreciate, you appreciate, yeah. you appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, yeah well, so... People say, well, you're missing me when I'm gone. Yeah. And, you know, but it's so true, isn't yeah. it? And we all go blindly through life, yeah. kind of taking each other for granted. Um, and you haven't taken um, Paul Whitehouse for granted because you said it was because of him saying, come out fishing, come out fishing, yeah. come out fishing, to get you out of the house. But who would have known from that then came this lovely series of the two yeah. of you because it's not just about fishing it's about talking discussing and discussing yeah. life and from that now has come the book because there was so much you talked about you have to yeah. put the rest of it <laughs> in here well yes we can only put a few minutes of us just talking yeah. in the um tv series so that's what that is it's yeah. just but the, i think that i don't think it's too grand to say that that that, that the series and the book and so on is about friendship and yeah. about what friendship yeah. means when yeah. you're when you're knocking on a bit. And it's organic, isn't it? When you spend twelve hours with somebody with no television, no devices to get distracted, 
you do have proper in-depth talks that kind yeah. of just happen, don't they, eventually? Yeah, it's something I hadn't had for 30 years. Yeah. It's, um, it kind of came flooding back. Oh, you can be really close to someone. You can talk to. Her. I'm being very serious. I'm sorry. I was. No, no, I noticed your fall earlier, and in this very building. Yes. I had a <laughs> unusual fall. Did you? Um, at um, an after awards party, and I broke my fall on Cilla Black's boob. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I thought I'd put her on more. Good fall. That was a good fall. <laughs> Trip in the first place. Was it a step? It was, that, it was a bit like it was a, it was a misstep. A step. Yeah. Yeah. Sella was rock solid. There, <laughs> you, there, there you go, Bob. No worries. Brilliant. So. Oh, I love it. Um, is there going to be a second series? Yes, of, there is. Gone fishing. Um, shortly, soon. Yeah. They haven't told us, but Good. yes, we've, it's, we've handed it in. Well, you can catch up. The series one is available on BBC iPlayer if you haven't seen it. It's charming. And um, Mortimer, Mortimer and Whitehouse Gone Fishing, the book, is out now. And, Paul, if you are watching, maybe you're secretly watching and just won't tell here, <laughs> we wish you well and we hope you get well soon. But it's been lovely to see you. Thank you very much, Bob. Thank Walsh. you for having me. <laughs>